Hi booktube, it's Missy and today I'm here to share with you guys my most anticipated reads for April and May. Um, I know April's almost over and I only have one book to share with you, that's why I didn't make a previous video. But before I get started with my most anticipated reads, I want to talk about a new series that I'm creating for my channel. And so yeah, with this new series it's going to be called my most anticipated reads recap or revisit. I'm not sure what I'm going to end it with, but I do want to go back to my first most anticipated reads videos um, from 2014 when I first started my channel. And I want to discuss with you guys whether I read the book, whether I purchased it, if I decided I didn't want to read it anymore. Um, I do a most anticipated reads video almost every single month. And I have always kept track of the books that I've purchased and read and what I rated them and so forth. And I've always wanted to make this series for you guys and so now I am. That video has already been made, it's already been recorded, I just have to edit and upload it. But I want to upload this um, video first. So you'll see it in a couple days. Anywho, um, hope you guys enjoy that new series and back to my April and May most anticipated reads. For April, I have Burn Town by Jennifer McMahon. This is her new thriller. Um, I guess she does mystery thrillers. I really enjoy her work. I have read Winter People and The Night Sister. They were both very strange. They both had uh, multiple point of views and they both had a time line that jumped back and forth so it wasn't continuous which I really enjoyed and so yeah that is going to be the new cover and it comes out tomorrow I think today's the 24th it comes out on April 25th so yes super looking forward to reading that one on to the May anticipated reads I have 10 YA books that I have to share with you guys. And then I found five adult books, which I'm super excited about. I think I found a new website that's going to show me adult books that I'll be interested in in the future. Um, so yes, look forward to more adult anticipated reads from me now that I found a website that shares some good ones. Okay, so the first book on my list is called Count All the Bones. And, or Count All Her Bones by April Henry. Now I've heard of April Henry before. She is a YA mystery thriller writer. I have not read any of her books before, but this one does sound interesting. It comes out on May 2nd. It's actually a sequel to Girl Stolen. So if you've read Girl Stolen, then the sequel comes out on May 2nd. Otherwise, um, I'm really looking forward to reading the first book. Um, and it's about a girl who is essentially abducted, but it wasn't on purpose. A boy goes and steals a car and doesn't know that she's in the back seat until a little bit later and decides to take her home. And they find out that she is the daughter of a Nike CEO. And so they decide to keep her for ransom. And not only that, she is also blind. So all of that sounds very interesting. And like I said, the sequel's coming out. So look forward to that book. The second one I have to share with you guys is called Dreamfall, and this is by Amy Plum. This one comes out on the 2nd of May as well. And if you look it up on Amazon, it says it's Nightmare on Elm Street meets Inception. Both movies were amazing, so this book sounds super cool. It's about six patients that go to a sleep study, like hospital kind of thing. And while they are trying to sleep, they end up becoming unconscious like together somehow and then they're stuck in their dream world but it's not a good dream they're all nightmares and they have to figure out how to get out and this is the first book in a series so I'm definitely looking forward to reading this the third book on my list is called Just Dreaming and this is the third and final book in the Silver Trilogy by Kirsten Gear um, if you have read the first book let me know down below I do own it but I haven't started it yet but I wanted to share with you guys that the third book is coming out, and it's coming out um, on the 2nd of May. The next book on my list is called Reaper, and this is by Kira Lay, or Kyra Lay. I think it's Kira. Um, it comes out on the 9th of May, and this one is about a girl who always believed that when you died, you went to a paradise or like a heaven. And um, 
one day she realizes she is dead and that is definitely not where she's at. So that sounds very interesting. The fifth book is called Umberland and this is by Wendy Spinelli. I think that's how you say her last name. Um, it comes out on the 9th of May and this is a fairy tale retelling. This is also a sequel. Um, I know I have a lot of sequels this month and I haven't read the first ones, but I do want to share with you guys all books that I'm interested in. So anyways, the first book in this series is called Everland, and it's a Peter Pan and Wendy retelling, but not like our traditional Peter Pan where there's a boy who goes and like takes Wendy and her brothers to a Neverland where all the kids are still young. I think it's like more twisted and dark than that and Umberland is an Alice in Wonderland retelling and we all know how much I love Alice in Wonderland so I'm definitely looking forward to reading this retelling. Um, I've never heard of this series so it's always exciting to come across new books. The sixth book on my list is Lord of Shadows and this is the sequel to Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. I still haven't finished the Mortal Instruments series yet. I'm only on the first book but I am interested in reading the other one. Uh, Mortal Instruments takes place in New York and Lady Midnight and that series takes place in LA and even though I don't live in LA I'm more familiar with LA than I am with New York so I am looking forward to reading those books. Um, yeah. The seventh book on my list, again, is another sequel, and this is actually the third and final book in the Cage trilogy. It's called The Gauntlet, and it is by Megan Shepard, and it comes out on the 23rd of May. Now, I've read The Cage. I had, uh, the second book, but I did return it to the library because I didn't actually get to it. But I am interested in reading the entire trilogy. The Cage, it's the first book, is really, really good. It's a survival book about um, some teenagers that are abducted from, by aliens and they have to figure out how to escape this artificial world that the aliens have placed them in. Um, it was really, really cool, super fast paced. So I'm definitely looking forward to finishing the series. The next book on my list is a new series that I can't wait to start, and that is called House of Furies, and this is by Madeline Rue. Um, if you guys have not read her Asylum trilogy, I would totally pick it up. It's super good. It's actually a good Asylum read. I've read many, many Asylum books, and this one is legit. I mean, it's YA, so it's not as scary as it could be, but it's definitely interesting and I am enjoying it. I am in the middle of the third book. I still haven't, you guys know how hard it is for me to read books. So I put it down for a second and I still haven't picked it back up, but I will soon. Um, but yes, her new book comes out on the 30th and it's going to be a gothic horror. So if you like YA horror, definitely look forward to this book. The ninth book I want to share with you guys is called Night Magic, and it's the sequel to Night Struck. And this series is by Jenna Black. This one also comes out on the 30th of May. I've never heard of Night Struck, and I'm excited to read it. It's about Philadelphia becoming, like, it's normal during the day. It's a normal city, but at night it becomes super sinister, and, like, lots of monsters come out and so forth. I've never heard of this series, and again, I'm super excited to find out um, new series through sequels. And um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to reading the first book so then I can get to the second book. And the very last book that I am looking forward to for my YA category is One of Us is Lying, and this is by Karen M. McManus. I've never read this author. This book also comes out on the 30th, and it's kind of like Breakfast Club with murders in it. So... There are five students that go to detention one Saturday and only one survives. The rest are dead and they need to find out what happened. Sounds super interesting. I can't wait to read that one. All right. My last five, like I said, are adult books and that was going to be Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. I just read, um, what is it called? The Train Book. On the train? You know what I'm talking about. Um, I just read her first book last month, I believe, and I thought it was an okay mystery. It wasn't the best, but it was okay. Um, 
but I'm definitely looking forward to trying out another book by her. I'm still trying to think of the title of the first book. That's why I'm not paying attention to what I'm talking about. All right, so Into the Water comes out on the 2nd of May. Uh, these aren't going to be in order because it came from a different website, and that website didn't have the authors and book titles in order of when they come out. Okay, so that's a psychological thriller. The second book is another uh, sequel, and it's called Skitter, and this is by Ezekiel Boone, and this one also comes out on May 2nd. Now, I know this is a sequel, and so I accidentally bought the first one because it was on my um, book outlet cart, so I kind of bought another box of books, and there was the sale going on, so... <sighs> I have a problem. Um, but anyways, Skitter is the sequel to The Hatchling, and it's about um, people who go down to Peru and they find out about this spider, and uh, that's all I need to know, okay, because I kind of have a slight um, arachnophobia. Phobia? Arachnophobia. Have you seen that movie? That freaked me out. It's old. It's an old 80s movie and it was super scary. Anyways, I'm slightly scared of spiders and this whole book is about spiders and of course the sequel is going to be about spiders as well. Um, so looking forward to this horror. The next book on the list is called The Thirst and this is by Joe Nesbo. This is the 11th book in her, her in his uh, series. I can't remember what the main character's name is. But I do own the seventh book, and the seventh book is called The Snowman. I do want to fit, start it from the first book, so I'm going to have to do that at some point in time. But I'm looking forward to reading this series. Now, The Thirst comes out on the 9th of May. Oh, it's Harry Hole. I wrote it down. Tee hee. It's the Harry Hole series. And it's a crime thriller set in Oslo. Um, so it's like a, what is it called? A Nordic noir. That's what it's called. Excuse the interruption. Um, I hate forgetting things. And I actually forgot to add this book to my anticipated reads. I know I told you guys that I had five adult books. And it was actually one, two, three, four, five, six adult books. Um, somehow I missed one. So the one that I missed, as you can see, is called You Were Here. And this is by Gian Sardar, I believe that's how you pronounce the name. This book comes out on the 16th of May, and it's actually a mystery, which sounds really cool. It's about a girl who finds out that her grandmother has a... Um, some sort of 70 year old love triangle and the only way she knows about this is because she keeps having a recurring nightmare and she has to go and talk to her grandma about it i believe that's how it goes and then um, as she's discussing her nightmare she digs up more of the past of, of her grandmother and then finds about about this 70 year old love triangle i have no idea what it's about besides that and it does sound really interesting and I've never heard about this author so I'm looking forward to reading this one. All right the next book is Gwendy's Button Box. Now this is a new book being written by Stephen King and Richard Chismar. I think that's how you say his last name. It comes out on May 30th. It's only 127 pages. It's a novella but I'm definitely looking forward to reading this. Anything by Stephen King so excited. And my very, very last book on this most anticipated reads for May is Black Mad Wheel. And this is by Josh Mallerman and it comes out on the 23rd of May. I didn't read anything about the synopsis of this story. I just know that it comes out by Josh Mallerman. And I absolutely loved Bird Box and so I'm assuming I'm going to love this book as well. So yeah, let me know down below what books you are looking forward to reading in the month of May. If you have already um, heard about those, like the first books in the in the series that I'm interested in reading, if you've read them, let me know down below. If any of this makes sense, let me know down below. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! <laughs>
April, I only have one book to share with you guys, and that is Brown, Brown Town. 